with the leaf spray, what we're going to use is uh, Remedy herbicide. There's a new herbicide I call Remedy Ultra. Uh, the active ingredient is triclopyr. Uh, so this is one ingredient in, in the Brush Buster's recommendation. You, we use a half a percent of this, and this jug's heavy, so I'm going to put it down. Uh, and then we also use a half a percent of Reclaim. So half a percent of each of those. And the nice thing about that Brush Buster pamphlet is it's got a little chart in there that shows you how much to mix according to the size tank you had. So half a percent of each of these herbicides. Uh, the Reclaim by itself will work, but what happens with the, with the remedy is it reduces that cost by about a third. So cost-wise, it, it helps you out, and then it, the, that combination works just as well as this one by itself. Okay, the other thing that we'll, we'll add um, is a surfactant. I don't know if we have a surfactant over there or not. Do we? Yeah, okay. All right. We'll add a surfactant. And I like surfactants that have 90% active ingredients or more uh, and that are non-ionic. We can also use uh, crop oils. We can use methylated seed oils uh, with surfactant blends. Those things are out now, so there's, those are all work. Uh, if you don't have anything else, and I, I say this is last ditch, okay? Liquid dishwashing detergent. But that's last ditch, because that's not non-ionic. What non-ionic means is this won't react with your herbicide. That liquid soap may. So not, not, a good, not the best way to go, but it's better than nothing. What this surfactant does is it that uh, it breaks the surface tension between the water droplet and these, these leaves. And it gives you better coverage. You get more even coverage with that surfactant in there, okay? So I, I suggest 90% active ingredients or better and non-ionic. And uh, had, a, had a fella call me the other day and, and say, hey, I just sprayed some mesquite and I forgot to put the surfactant in. What do you think is gonna happen? And I said, well, I don't think it's gonna be quite as effective. So he was kind of worried about it. Uh, and then the other thing that we put in is that blue dye. And a uh, lady up here uh, gave us a testimonial that, that the blue dye is the best, is really great, and it is. It shows you the, the coverage that you've got on the, on the plant. But the other thing it does is it, it actually, in the long run, saves you money. Because you know which plants you treated. Uh, I've been asked at, at various meetings, and I won't identify the location, this, you know, that, and I get this question a lot, but uh, do you need to die? And I say, well, if you don't mind treating plants twice, then no, you don't need to die. Just think about a day like today. You spray this with no dye in there. How long do you think you're going to tell, how long do you think it's going to be wet? You know, maybe 90 seconds. So spraying that dye on there it does cost some money to put it in there, but you can see the spray pattern that you've got, which is really helpful. You can also tell that you treated it so you don't retreat it. Uh, I haven't done the cost comparison for a long time, but several years ago when we were looking at this more closely, uh, I think a plant that was, oh, maybe four feet tall was costing us 11 cents maybe to treat. Uh, so, you know, you want to treat, you know, spend 22 cents on the plant or take that chance? I don't, I don't think so. Yes, ma'am. However, I just wanted to interject because I've been doing this this year. I quit doing the leaf spraying because the reclaim went up to 232 bucks a gallon. So it was cheaper for me to go back to the remedy and diesel way. Okay. Of the leaf spray. Don't get me wrong. I like it much better. Okay. Physically, but that just got way too expensive. All right. Now, this lady said that she stopped using the leaf spray because the cost of, of reclaim went up. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about that in a second with this, this stem spray. Uh, there are plant growth forms that are better for leaf spray. 
I, I guarantee you, I'm like Alan, I don't like the backpack. Uh, and the, but the, but the, problem, the problem sometimes is the growth form that you've got doesn't, isn't suited to the stem spray. And I'm, I'm gonna cover that when I go over there.